I'm here at REIT World 2011 in Dallas, and joining me is Dan Hurwitz, President and CEO of DDR. Dan, your company was ac uh, active on the acquisition front so far this year. Um, what are your expectations for this area uh, in the remainder of the year, as well as we head into 2012? Well, I think it, it will continue. I, I think there are acquisition opportunities that make sense for us uh, on a one-off basis, um, but not necessarily large consolidation efforts because that's not something that we will uh, pursue going forward. But there are many uh, opportunities within our particular sector where we can get prime assets that we feel that if we leverage our operating platform, we can achieve uh, uh, higher value than necessarily going in when we first look at these assets. So. I think uh, we will continue to acquire. We'll also continue to dispose of assets. There is still a market out there for what our non-prime portfolio. We've sold about $2.4 billion worth of assets over the last couple of years, and, and that will continue. Now, with so much market uncertainty out there where, where people are speculating anything from a, fr from a double dip to a complete recovery, what can you do as a shopping center owner to, to kind of mitigate some of this risk and uncertainty? Well, there's two things that we're really focused on. One's on the operational side, one's on the financial side. On the operational side, obviously, uh, we need to partner with the best retailers. And the great thing about our business is you don't have to guess who that is. Uh, most of our retailers are large public companies. They report their sales. We know where the market share is going every month, if not every quarter. And we need to make sure that we're partnering with the right retailers who, who provide the most appealing um, uh, merchandise at the right price, uh, to the consumer today. So operationally, we're partnering with the right people. Uh, financially, quite frankly, we just have to make sure that, that we are uh, uh, anticipating what could be coming down the road and being conservative in our view towards what our, our, our capital structure should look like. So for example, while we are still in a deleveraging mode and we have deleveraging left to do to meet our objectives, we've been extremely aggressive in extending our maturity profile. Um, and balancing our maturity profile, which was a problem for our company in the past. So one of the things that we know we can do today is extend our maturity profile. Sometimes that's expensive, we recognize that, but on a risk-adjusted basis, and when you talk about risk management of a real estate company, an extended maturity profile often is just as important, if not more important, than actually lowering debt levels. Because if you have a lot of debt, uh, if you don't have a lot of debt, but it's all coming due in a short period of time, you obviously have problems. And lastly, DDR underwent a rebranding effort in September. Uh, what drove that decision and how will that benefit the company? Well, our name was complicated. Um, and it was not a name that people typically use. The market referred to us as DDR. So it was basically an acknowledgement to the market that uh, we are who you say we are. Um, the name itself, uh, developer was the first name. Uh, while, while Roundup development is still part of our business model, it certainly doesn't deserve for, first billing. And we're not diversified. Um, we don't own diversified asset base. We, uh, ninety percent of our NOI comes from our prime assets, which are large community and power centers. Uh, and th that is the process, that, that is the, the, the product that we will pursue going forward. And, uh, so diversified and developer both gave, um, uh, incorrect information on really who the company was. Dan, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Matt. For more on this and other news and analysis from REIT World 2011, be sure to visit REIT.com.